In this video, we are going to talk about extension. Uh, so uh, Jaap will uh, learn how to properly extend and pull his arrow through the clicker. Uh, Jaap has learned about back tension and he has learned about uh, just uh, pulling through with his wooden bow, but uh, I think there's some uh, improvement there. So uh, let's see if we can uh, make it happen. Can you shoot a shot for me and I will see how you extend and uh, see if there's any room for improvement. So watch that anchor. So another one, because I uh, think I saw something that we can improve on, but uh, I need to make sure that it's not, uh, not a fluke. Okay, so um, judging by your point on the clicker, what I notice is that you, uh, you come to the clicker and then you anchor and then you come back and then you have to start all the way over again. So this will cost you more energy than needed and um, I think it would be good if you could uh, pull back, anchor and keep it going. So instead of anchoring and then falling back and then getting it going again, uh, maybe see if you can uh, make it one movement uh, apart from each other. So m keep moving this hand away from the other. Preferably by pushing this one forward rather than pulling this one backward. So go to your anchor point. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Did that feel much different to you? And is that a negative thing? Um, yeah, well, because I uh, look at the clicker and then go to my side, and I have to put it on the yellow. Mm. Um, it doesn't. That, that's the reason that it probably happens. So yeah. I go back to the, to the side. Yeah. And start aiming. Yeah. So that that's a good focus point for you. So when you when you anchor. Um, it's easy to then look at the clicker and think, okay, I'm there, and then go back to the, yeah. to the site and then sort of collapse a bit. Um, and I think we can work on this and uh, make it easier for you to get through the clicker because I've shot a couple days with you where at the end of the competition is more difficult for you to get through the clicker. And essentially, you don't want that. You don't want uh, the beginning and the end of the competition to be much different from each other. So yeah, that's a, that's a good one to work on. Yeah. So. Um, uh, it's important to keep moving, but you don't have to do it fast. So you can uh, allow yourself to have a little bit more time in the shot by just moving a little slower, uh, as long as you keep moving. I think it's better to move slowly than to move quick and go back and forth. So um, yeah, keep it controlled. The movements don't have to be very quick or very fast. So keep it smooth, go to your anchor point, and slowly keep going, keep going, keep going, and there you go. Did you feel like you had more time in that shot? Yeah, I tried to do it a little uh, slower. Mm -hmm. So um, I had uh, more time. But yeah. I, yeah, I, had, I had enough time to. Uh, okay. To yeah. So, uh, important to state. Um, Shooting in a certain rhythm is good and uh, it can help people, but you don't have to get that rhythm right or you don't have to uh, shoot within three seconds or whatever. As long as you have the power and the control over your bow, um, it's fine if your shot takes a little longer as long as you do it smoothly. So don't, don't really like uh, give it a your all to get through the clicker because then your precision will probably suffer from it. So as long as you do everything in control, I think a longer shot can still be a good shot. Uh, you don't have to necessarily pull it through in a certain uh, time frame.
So I'm, I'm gonna put my hands on your shoulders and I'm gonna sort of direct your shoulders into the direction that they should be going, in my opinion. So this one keeps low, this one goes backwards and you sort of... So now what I was doing is uh, his right shoulder I was slightly pulling, I'm not like yanking it but I'm, I'm giving it a little bit of a, of a touch and then his left shoulder I'm pushing down and forward so I'm basically making a rotation in his shoulders. Um, is this what you normally try to do or was this new to you? No, it's really tried. Okay, yeah. because I felt that Jaap was very giving in his, uh, in his shoulder so um, when you pull back and you anchor uh, basically what you're doing is your right shoulder goes back and your left shoulder goes towards the target. Um, there's also people who say uh, both my shoulder blades go towards each other but to me that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because then what you're doing is um, putting a lot of tension in your back without anything sort of happening. Um, I'm sure that it works for some people but I think this is a more easy way to get consistent and get higher scores. So. So just keep it smooth, uh, keep it controlled. You don't have to necessarily work as hard as you can as long as you keep moving. So to that anchor point that we discussed. So there was a little bit of a, a fall back in the clicker when you anchored. Um, Jaap, you look at the clicker when you, uh, when you anchor. Um, and after Jaap looks at, it, at the clicker uh, and goes back to his side, uh, he tends to, uh, yeah, sort of, uh, yeah, sort of get back or, or, or collapse a bit uh, into his draw length. Um, this is something that's easily fixed by just doing it a lot um, and um, just trusting that in the moment that you go from the clicker to the side, the clicker won't go, or if it does go. Uh, that you have the control to not shoot the shot immediately. Um, and uh, if you want to know more about the clicker and how you want to extend or uh, how far you need to be on the clicker before shooting, um, I suggest looking at the video up there because we made a video about it uh, where we explain it a little more into detail. So, so another thing you can look at while uh, checking extension and, and if uh, the balance between the back and the front is good, uh, you can check if the string moves on the shirt or on the chest protector if you wear one. Um, so I'm going to see if Jaap uh, pushes enough or pulls too much or maybe pushes too uh, little or uh, pulls too little. So uh, we're going to see if the string moves in the way that I want it to move. So I'm going to point at it. Essentially if you don't push or pull too much this one will stay here. And you can see that the app string is pretty much staying there. So um, can you give us an example of what happens when you don't push enough and pull too much? So now look at the string and what happens to the string if you only pull and don't push. You can see that it moves backwards like probably a centimeter uh, in the extension only. So that means that the balance is a bit off. But um, yeah, the lesson for you, I think, in this video is uh, to keep it moving. Uh, it doesn't have to be fast, it doesn't have to be very strong. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep it moving and keep it smooth, um, yeah, that's, your extension is uh, quite good already.